Hi snooker fans, Curtis Brayton here for QSports.club. I'm at the Northern Snooker Centre to catch up with the only father and son combination on the tour, Lions Senior and Lions Junior. How are you boys? Yeah, good fans. Yeah, very well. Now Pete, firstly with you mate, what's it been like competing on the tour with your son? Um, it, well for me, it's been, it was difficult. You know, it was enjoyable, but it was really difficult for me, you know, because when we're at comps, you know, I kind of do everything for Oliver, you know, and make sure he can just go out there and just play. So it was difficult, you know, and especially if we're playing at the same time. Yeah, it was a bit yeah. of a nightmare. But, you know, it was enjoyable still. Yeah. Now I can imagine, because obviously you're trying to concentrate on your game and then you're looking over at the table. Do you know yeah, what I mean? When he's yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. We had a, you know, last, not last season, just one before, we were playing in the world at the same time and we were both, I think, eight all at the same time on the next table of each other. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We had, I had no chance of winning. <laughs> <laughs> and not just because I was playing Matthew Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have made it any easier for your dad then, son, eh? No, just, he just... tried. He could have won easy. He could have won easy and I could have grabbed mine out for hours like I normally do, but no. <laughs> so, Ollie, what's it been like for you having pops with you at tournaments? Um, it's always been the same for me. He's always come round and watched me ever since I started playing. Really, so it's the same. Apart from when we're on at the same time, because we've played at the same time a few times now. We've been on next table a few times, and I don't think I've ever won a match when we've been on at the same time. So obviously, it doesn't feel too bad, but. Obviously, it gets to me somewhere because I've never won a match when we've been on at the same time. So, yeah, but I mean, it must be tremendous for you, like having such an experienced um, person to turn to. Do you know what I mean? Like someone who's actually lived a life like you, because most fathers they've got experience in life, but not experience in the same game. Do you know what I mean? So it must be good for you having your dad, so you can turn to him anything snooker wise as well, not only as a parent. You know what I mean? Yeah, before the game, he helps calm me down if I'm nervous, or he, he tells me. We, we talk game plan sometimes of what I need to do to win and if it's going wrong at the interval then always the wide word or I always seem to play better in the second session after I've had a word so yeah. it must help. Yeah, no, great stuff. Now Pete, what things would you like to see Oliver do differently than what you've done in your career or like you're at the early part of your career? Um, it could... It, it, well, it's difficult. I think... I think the thing that affects most players is distraction, you yeah. know, away from the table. I don't think people realise just how single-minded you have to be if yeah. you want to get to the top. You know what I mean? You could have all the stuff you want to have, you know, house, cars, girlfriends, blah, blah, if you get to the top. But if you want to get to the top, you've got to be fully focused. You know, yeah. you can't have anything affecting your performance when you get out there. You've yeah. just got to go out there, concentrate on your game. And not just while you're playing, you know, it's, it's important, you know, away from the table you've got to be fully dedicated you know so it's the outside distractions that are, that are going to hold him back if anything yeah that's right I mean he's a tremendous curious and a tremendous talent but um, like you said distractions are there by the, by, by, by the thousands aren't they do you know what I mean and there's so many talents you would have seen over the years that have, have had all the ability in the world absolutely just... the game the game is absolutely littered with players that have had phenomenal potential and not really fulfilled it and then got stuck at 40, 50, 60 and some not even got that high yeah. you know and, 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 it, and it's sad but obviously not everyone can be a champion you know but you've got to do everything you possibly can to try and make that happen for yourself yeah, so... you know, and then the rewards are there if you do so Pete, what would you have done differently now? Like if, if you could have sort of seen your career, you had a fair bit of success, you've always been a top player. What would you have done differently? Um, <laughs> that that you that you like Oliver to do? Um, well, I think <laughs> <laughs> I think and um, I think I like speak the truth on this question. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, no, no, I'll, say it, Pete. Yeah, I, I think if I hadn't have met Oliver's mum. I think I would have been a top player. I really do. Okay, yeah. You know, but I, I threw some years away. You know, yeah. And I, I did. I just, you know, and you know, I regret it. But it's one of them things, isn't it? You know, some good things came out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Look like you know, that. I may not be. <laughs> I, I, I've got, I've got Penny. She's a great daughter. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't cost me nowhere near as much as Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially with that trainer collection anyway. Correct, yeah. Jesus Christ. Outrageous. Are you serious, boy? That many trainers are what? Well, you need one for every day of the year, don't you? Just a year? Yeah. <laughs> or every day of the millennium? <laughs> <laughs> no, Pete, great. And I appreciate it, honestly, there. So, Oli, but that's actually a good thing for you because not, not only through your dad's mistakes, but it's actually your dad's actually lived the life to know 
what changes that you need to make, do you know what I mean? So it'd be good for you to take that on board and like you said, you're tremendously lucky to have your dad. Yeah, because, you know, everything's all right in moderation, isn't it? You know, yeah. going out's all right and, you Absolutely. know, if it's the right time, drinking, going out, and, you know, seeing girls, whatever, you know, it's all all right as long as, as long as, when it's snooker, it's snooker. Yeah, You know, yeah. you've got to be fully focused. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, fully agree. Now, Oli, what part of your dad's game have you incorporated in your own? Because you, you, you two are, like, completely different players, aren't you? Like, you're, you're quite yeah, like a... Brian. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lot quicker. <laughs> I'm a lot quicker in amongst the balls than it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you being more of, like, a, a curious sort of player, your dad was, like, really tough, hardened match player, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, he just likes to bash balls about, did not he? Well, I didn't want to say that, do you know what I mean? I've got a lot of respect for no, seeing you. I, yeah, I, yeah I, I get to 16 three visits, he does it in one. <laughs> but listen, you both get the job done. Both get the I'd job done. I'd say I've learned um, a lot of safety, a lot of shots to play at certain times from Dad, because when I was younger, I just used like to go for everything and just see how it went. Yeah. But then, since I became professional, I've learned a lot more from watching dad and watching other players yeah um and practicing with good players as well you learn the right shots to play at the right times i'm still learning but yeah dad's taught me a lot of yeah, safety yeah. and a lot of knowledge and yeah he's um, ever since well, i started playing seriously he's always told me to have a good temperament yeah yeah and i think he's, he's nailed that one in me well i think i've got a very good temperament now. Absolutely, yeah, you have, you have, absolutely. I mean, what I've noticed with your game, Ollie, as well, like, you're not, I was saying to you, to you earlier on, you're not, like, a typical young player, like, just, like, I don't want to say the word clueless, but a lot of the young players just, just go for everything, but you actually do play the right shots at the right time, and I think that's a massive, massive credit to your dad there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'd say, I'd say my game, on a whole, is a massive credit to my dad. Yeah. Because, well, when I was younger, he just told me, just go for your shots, don't really pay attention to safety, just just play. And then when I became a bit older, obviously you need yeah. the safety game, so then we tried to work on that together. And yeah. I think it's coming along well now. No, absolutely. I mean, tactically, your dad was definitely one of the best and still is, actually. Do you know what I mean? A lot of guys uh, continue to tell me that my best mate included. You just can't seem to beat senior. Full stop, can he? Nah, he's <laughs> clever, isn't he? He needs to stop going for so many shots, Kurt. He's making it too easy for me. Correct, mate. <laughs> Fully agree, mate. I know the banter's been flying since that. Right? <laughs> since, since that shootout victory is on it, mate. Yeah, he said it were a fluke, but there were no flukes. <laughs> <laughs> Different class, mate. Now, Pete, what's the main thing you'd like to pass down to Oliver? And you saw that pass a snooker torch to him. Yeah, well, I, I think I think Oliver's I think Oliver's already uh, sort of mentioned it. His his, his attitude, yeah. you know what I mean. I, I you know I, my attitude let me down over the years as well. Do you know what I mean? Getting frustrated, sat in your seat, you know, uh, all angry and wet, you know, you know. And that was one of the main things we talked about. Do you know what I mean? When 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 he was playing matches, you know, telling him to well, have a good temperament, regardless of what happens, you can't do anything about you know stuff that's out of your control. So, you yeah. know, I just used to tell him that. Take care of stuff you can control, which is your own game, your own cue, and making sure you're ready to play your shot when it's your time to play, you know? And, and, and the rest of it will take care of itself. You know yeah. what I mean? If you do the hard work, the rest of it will take care of itself. Oliver knows he's nowhere near the finished article, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? He's not, he's not trying to pretend he's someone he's not, you know? He knows he's got to shave some points off his game, you know, to get to the top, you Absolutely, know? He's yeah. got to take his game down, he knows that, you know? He, he, he's, not, he's not trying to be someone he's not, he's not like. But he wants to get there, yeah. you know, and hopefully if he keeps working as hard as he is, he will. Do you know yeah. what I mean? He's got a good setup now, you know what I mean? He plays here, does his work here, but also he can go, because he's managed by Django now, he can go down there, do you know what I mean? He looks after him, you know, he gives him some words of advice, do you know what I mean? He get, and like he says, he's practicing with top players now, he's learning, and he wants yeah. to learn, and he's always done that. Yeah. You know, he's always wanted to learn to improve himself. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I like having fun and I like spending my money and like going on holidays like everybody does, but... During the season, I practice about six hours a day, and I do practice hard. Yeah, I mean, Ollie, a couple of times I've watched you, watched you practice. You're not, again, like a typical young boy. You look like you actually enjoy practicing hard as well. Yeah, I enjoy, you actually enjoy, I it, yeah. enjoy getting up on the morning and coming in here and trying to better myself. Yeah, which is yeah. what I want to do. No, tremendous attitude, pal. Ollie, tell her what's it been like uh, since you joined up with Django and playing at the Grove and that. What's it been like for you? In snooker terms. So yeah, snooker terms. Yeah. Um, I think my all-round game has got a lot better. Okay. Um, Django's got me a couple of practice sessions with Ronnie, and I play Judd a lot, and 
it's hard not to improve if you're playing players like that on a regular because they're going to help you out and tell Django like what you need to work on and stuff and then Django will tell me and if I go back and work on it I should improve. Yeah, absolutely. And Senior, what was your opinions of, of him joining the Grove? Um, yeah. I, I was a bit I was a bit reluctant at first, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you, 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 I didn't want him to get into sort of a lifestyle that wasn't him, yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? But having said that, you know, since he's joined there, all those fears have just been, they, they, you know, they've they, they, they prove that they just weren't the case because it's all about him, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. As long as he knows, he, you know, he knows what's right, he knows what's wrong. It's up to him to make his decisions. Do you know what I mean? And 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 it's, it's been nothing but good for him. You yeah. know, and and plus, um, I think, you know, I don't really know Jack God. Do you know what I mean? He, Oliver, Oliver, you know, I've seen him, I've spoke to him, and that. But Oliver yeah. has his dealings with him, and Oliver really likes him. Do you know what I mean? And that's yeah. that's all that matters to me. As yeah. long as he's happy, he's, you know, he, they get on really well. Do you know what I mean? And. And that's the main thing. As long as he's happy, I'm yeah. happy. Pete, interestingly, what parts of Oliver's game do you think that he needs to really improve on? Uh, it's his scoring. Okay. You know, he needs to score heavy. If you want to get to the top, you've got to score heavy. You can play safe as long as you like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you can carve out chances, you know, which which is obviously good. You know what I mean? Right. But if you, if you can carve out one chance and you can take it, you can go to the top. If you yeah. carve out one chance and you miss two chances, you miss three chances, yeah. you're going to get stuck somewhere in the rankings yeah. and it can't get you to the top. You have to score heavy. You yeah. have to. And, and that's the aspect of his game that he needs to improve on. Do you know what I mean? Because he need, he's a great cueist. He's got a phenomenal attitude. Do you know what I mean? Once he once he cracks that, you know, touch what he does. Yeah, yeah. He, I can't see him going anywhere but to the top. Because yeah. the rest of his game, I think he's there. Yeah, I fully agree. I mean, Pete, I'm one of his biggest fans, but then you guys know that already. I mean, he's got tremendous queue in action. I think he's going to go all the way to the top. Who do you actually look up to, Ollie? Uh, other than your dad, snooker wise? Um, I've always been a massive fan of Johnny Higgins. Yeah. Ever since, well, ever since I was a young boy. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Higgins was always my favourite player when I was younger. Just his attitude and the way he, if you need someone to clear up from 60 down oh, yeah. in a deciding frame yeah. anyway you pick John Higgins absolutely um, yeah I'd say I look up to him the most Although, in recent years I have looked up to Selby quite a bit because yeah. he never seems like he's playing really well ever but he always <laughs> is in the final or yeah. he's always yeah. winning tournaments and well, that's just, you can't teach that really, can you? I don't think you just either got that sort of winning attitude or you haven't, and he just, he just has it. Yeah, absolutely. Look, guys, it's been tremendous talking to you both, and I thank you so, so much for your time. And all of us at Q Sports Club want to wish you both the very, very best for the rest of the season. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers, boys.